All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to tighten up a bicycle wheel on any bicycle. And I'm tightening mine up. I have a an electric assist bicycle called an Aerial Rider Ride L. And I really like the bike, but when it came shipped to me, the spokes were extremely loose, especially the rear wheel. And if you'll check out my other videos, you'll see the problems I've had with this bike. And I'm also have to, I had one of the crank arms got loose. It almost fell off and it wallered out the inside of the crank arm. So today I'm putting new cranks on this bike. I've already made a video tighten up the rear wheel and this is a video how to tighten up any wheel on any bicycle. So what you do is you gotta have a spoke wrench. You let all the air out of the tires. That way the nipples can spin underneath the rim strip. And what you do is you tighten all the nipples the same. And this right here, they're loose. So I'm gonna go around and tighten every one of them a half a turn and I'm gonna start at the valve so that way I don't get lost. So we're gonna start right here and we're gonna go a half a turn on every single one of them. Now half a turn don't seem like a lot, but it will be by the time you get to the end, trust me. So, if you do, if you tighten them all the same, that way your wheel can't get out of true and you won't, and you won't get up and down in it. And this is no, this, this takes a few moments to do. All right. We're just making our way around. So wherever it starts at, I just go halfway and that's where I end. That one there was a really tight one. About halfway there. This is a boring video, and I know it is. And uh, there in the background is some dragster bicycles I built in the past. And uh, you can learn all about them in my other videos on YouTube. They're, uh, the, <laughs> I can't believe how popular the videos are and how uh, many questions I'm getting. And what happened was, I, my buddy, David Guess, come up to see me a few years ago. And we started riding back in 1980 together, when we was 12 years old. And he never had a BMX bike. And uh, he, he had a tire that, he had, a, rear, he had a, a slick rear, but it wasn't a real Schwinn slick. Matter of fact, him and his grandpa found the bike in a dumpster. So we rode together for years like that. And then he quit basically riding bicycles when we was about 14. And uh, he had to work on the farm. So he come up to see me. We went to Bicycle Heaven up here in Pittsburgh, the world's biggest bicycle museum. And uh, it was just a, like a few months before his 50th birthday, which is February 1st. And he, he said, I always wanted a PK ripper frame, but I wanted a Schwinn slick in the front and back with red line flight cranks. So, you know, he went back home. He lives down in Louisville and he went back home. Well, I got online. I thought, well, let's go. He, you know, he's a, been a good friend my whole life. So I just found the parts and I built him the bike for his 50th birthday. And then I just thought they were so rad that I just went ahead and, uh, Ordered some more frames and I built like five more of them. I have like five or six of these bikes. All right, now we've made one round. Now we're going to see the tension. Wow, look how much more tension's on them spokes now. And that was just a half a round. I tell you what, though, they need another round. Let's see how, let's see how true the wheel is. Well, it's still true because 
I tighten them all the exact same amount. So we're gonna work hard here again. They're just not tight enough. That's just all there is to it. So we're gonna have to go make a whole nother round here. That's okay. That's just part of it. Just a half a round. I'm sure another half a round is going to take care of it. Yeah, you know, obviously I'm overweight. And I made, I lost 27 pounds eating raw potatoes and drinking water. And if you go on my YouTube channel, I vlogged all 40 days. So you can go on there and see my first weight, which was like 421 pounds. And then 40 days later... I done a I done a video every day, and on my last day I was down 27.1 pounds. Now I had a lot of fun making the videos, and they're not professional videos by no means, but uh, but when I put this bike on there that I had some problems with it, I got all kinds of of uh, almost hate messages that I was too fat to ride this bicycle. And that's why the spokes went loose after a mile, and that's why the crank arm fell off. Well, it's just simply not true. And But overweight people, this bike is rated for 285 pounds. When I started riding, I was at 421. I'm down to about 390 right now. But the bike's carrying me fine. My Rad Mission 1, I haven't had a single problem out of it i've rode it probably almost a thousand miles so don't let being overweight discourage you from buying one of these those weight limits are just to protect themselves you could probably weigh a thousand pounds and ride one of these bicycles so the electric assist is the way to go like you can go out and ride and all it does is when you're pedaling it just helps you. But now it does have a throttle on it and you can you can uh, just use the throttle. You get too tired, just use the throttle. Yeah, but that's a lot better than sitting on the couch, you know, getting out and doing something. You know, uh, it's about all I can say. I just can't express enough, you know, look, you know, Google a local place, go test ride an electric assist bicycle. You know, buy one locally. You know, just give them a try, man. I have so enjoyed being out there. We live by the Panhandle Trail by Pittsburgh, and we go out there and ride, and we see all kinds of nice people. And I'm the biggest guy on the trail. I'll be honest, I am the fattest guy out there riding. But I don't care because I'm out there exercising. And I'm losing weight, and I'm having a great time, having the best time I've had in years, you know, so why not? All right, we made a whole nother round. Now we're going to, I'm going to check the side to side, the truing on my sides, because I can see it better. So y'all just have to, look at that. It's still perfectly true because I tighten them all the exact same amount. Oh my goodness, look how tight those are now. I mean, that is, that's where it needs to be. So I just went, basically I just went around, I tightened them all the exact same amount. Now we're gonna put some air in the tire. I put a little over 60 in the back tire, but I'm only gonna put 50 in the front tire so I'll have a little bit of a cushion when I hit something. Like, you know, a, a curb or, you know, some cracks in the, in the road. Ah, we're at 58. That'll be good. And I got one little other thing I'm going to put on here. And I put one on the back. Now I'm going to put one on the front. 
which is a dice valve cap. And don't worry, I'm not going to be going fast enough to, to, uh, for it to make any difference. Well, that's how you tighten up a wheel. That's how you tighten up a bicycle wheel, the spokes, and I appreciate your time.